Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading for December 1st to the 8th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to jump right into it, Pisces. What a week. This is the busiest week of December, and I just did your monthly forecast last week. There are a lot of stuff that I didn't talk about in your monthly forecast. You're going to love this. Okay, so uh, really, really busy week, but we kick it off with uh, the new moon Sagittarius on Sunday, December 1st. Nine degree. I love this one. Okay. I love this new mood. It is, uh, by the way, happening around 1 20 a.m. my time, Eastern in New York City time. So it, you know, will change for wherever you are in the world, but just start planting seeds, even like the day before. This is just really, really, really nice. Very fun, very optimistic. It's an exciting new moon. If you are here for career, well, it just happens to be in your 10th house of career. Okay. Fame. It's the house of fame, public recognition, your reputation, honors, achievements. So even if you're not here for career, whatever you're exerting your energy into that you want to be known for, maybe you would be known for as the, uh, I don't know, the best, you know, ice cream vendor on, you know, third street, whatever it is, whatever you want, whatever you want. This is a new moon where it's all about seeking wisdom. I mean, it is in Sagittarius, right? So take some risks too. So you're doing some risk taking. Uh, that's, you know, kind of like the full energy in tarot. Anyway, I love this. I love this one for you it's it's well deserved and you know you get this once a year right so use it please use this now it's all about the big picture the other thing is don't forget mercury is retrograde in sagittarius as well so it doesn't like negate the powers of this new moon or anything like that all it means is that remember mercury retrograde is all about reassessing rethinking reevaluating editing things like that all right so uh for the things that you want for your future right really taking that moment so there could be some things that you've really thought about in terms of career right or again your reputation or anything like that right honors achievement social status leadership um people from your past could have come around circumstances from your past you know those are mercury retrograde things so they could be looped in to this new moon who knows i mean it's very back to the future right this new moon but either way pave your way forward this is take advantage of this and a lot of you are going to see all this change happening i mean it's it's mutable energy your mutable sign speaking of which if you are a cross watcher if you do watch for your rising your moon or you know for your kid your husband whatever it is your you know uh uber driver it doesn't matter all fire signs right aries leo sagittarius and all mutable signs gemini virgo you and obviously sagittarius will feel this the most all right so Take advantage of remember what I said your monthly forecast corresponds to an amazing full moon in June 2025. So what abundance do you want? What is the harvest you want by then? Right. So give yourself something really special, uh, something really special to look forward to. And a lot of you are just going to feel these big changes happening. Like, remember, give it two weeks, give it two weeks. It's a new cycle, but plant seeds, right? A lot of you got to feel it around this day. Now, December 2nd, uh, this is going to be Monday. Venus trying Uranus. Wow, this is special. Okay. Gene, you know, Uranus brings, it's the great awakener. Here it is. He brings unexpected, this surprises, progress, breakthroughs. So very, very likely you are going to have that because it's so close to this new moon and you've got Venus and Capricorn. You're in your 11th house of your hopes and wishes and dreams. You got Uranus in your third house of communication. You can be getting some surprising messages around this time. I love this. Now, with this aspect, do something different. All right. Break from routine. That's what this aspect wants you to do. Okay. Do something fun, different, especially in a relationship. You know, your partner could surprise you with something. It could be career wise, too. It could be a friendship for you. It could be a group or a community. All of that is on the table. All of that. Okay. Wouldn't be surprised if, like, maybe a friend turns into something more here as well. But here's the thing if you are single, by the way, and you're looking, this is your sliding doors moment. Remember, Uranus is all about those surprises and breakthroughs. Like you could be standing in line at I don't Lululemon's or I, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, the hardware store. The person, someone bumps into your shopping cart. It's like a movie, right? That put yourself out there. Put yourself out there, okay? Now this is also creative breakthroughs, right? There's something big here for you. All right. Something really big could also be something with family, you know, surprising things with family members around this time, as well as travel. You could do a surprise trip. Wouldn't be surprised. 
wouldn't be surprised with a friend, you know, groups of friends or a squad. This is definitely not a boring aspect. There could be some money stuff here too. You know, Taurus is a finance sign. So just keep that in mind. We don't have this aspect until, again, until October, 2025. So that's why I'm here for you, Pisces. I've let you know, take advantage of this. You, it is, a whole year is going to go by before you get this aspect again. Now, Wednesday, December 4th, uh, yeah, we come to the first Saturn square. So remember, in your monthly forecast, we have a bunch of Saturn squares. Here's the first, first one, the sun, okay? Sun squaring Saturn. So there may be something here where you feel a little bit of a squeeze. Saturn is testing you, right? Saturn's in your sign. So it's very interesting when I see what's going on for Pisces. There could be something here where you are really reconsidering things in career. There could be something here in terms of like uh, something uh, kind of like um, inspiring you, right? Inspiring you to do something different or to, you know, you may feel that squeeze from Saturn and you're just it, it actually helps you, you know, it's very interesting for y'all. Okay. It's very interesting for you because you do have Saturn, right? In your sign. Um, and it's the sun of Sagittarius. It's very fun, right? Saturn is just like, no, no, no fun. Not today. So you're kind of working with this energy. There may be Saturn is authority. So there may be something like a boss, you know, like a boss or a father, father figure or something like that, where you feel that squeeze, right? It also could be you. Yeah. It could be you. We're just like, you know what? I'm going to like test myself. I'm going to test myself and, you know, go further. Right. You know, very, you know, what's really interesting about this um, is that a lot of world leaders, right? A lot of world leaders, historical, present, they have Sun Square Saturn in their charts. Okay. We get Sun Square Saturn, you know, maybe twice a year average, right? These world leaders have it their entire life. It's baked in their birth chart. So what are the key words here? world leaders they rose above it they passed all of saturn's tests their entire life they just keep passing his test keep rising above use it okay ascend you got this now venus exile neptune again this is big for you you know venus is you know obviously you know exalted in your side you got neptune um that's in your side i i like this for you it's very creative imaginative uh very artsy if you're into the arts uh if you're an artist oh you're gonna feel this very spiritual okay very feel inspired with this right this is all about going within dreaming big now this is a nice boost to thursday december 5th we got a mercury kazemi so wow this is really amazing Especially if you may feel a little, you know, again, if if you're in a place in career where, you know, fame and, and whatnot, everything I said, because this is happening in Sagittarius, this is where you have that lightning bolt of clarity. This is where it's just like refresh, right? Refresh of the mind. You got the sun conjuncting Mercury. You got Mercury in the heart of the sun. Okay. Think about that alignment. So get a notebook, get a pen, get a pencil. You're going to have a fountain. You're, you're going to have, you're going to be a fountain of ideas. There's going to be a lot of ideas. There's all about freedom and seeking wisdom and the big picture and fresh perspectives. So I absolutely love this one. I love this for you. Okay. Now, Friday, December 6th, uh, we got our first Mercury squaring Saturn. Actually, it's not, we've already had this. Yeah, um, we're going to have it twice this month, but this is the first one. So Remember, just don't sign anything. Don't do don't make any big agreements around this time. There could be just not seeing eye to eye with someone when it comes to communication. Absolutely could have to do something with a career space around this time. Remember, Saturn is I'm sorry, Mercury is in uh Sagittarius, right? So authorities. There could be like hitting a brick wall. This, this is what you're gonna feel like if you're trying to have an important conversation with someone like an authority figure, right? Because you got to throw in the fact that Mercury is retrograde. So that could also throw in a lot of mis like miscommunication, confusion, like the wrong info, things like that. So just, a, you know, this is a day to just maybe save it. Like if you have an important conversation, save it for later. Go with the flow, flow with the go. Water flows, right? This is all about optimism, right? Sagittarius season, this beautiful new moon for you. So go with that energy, vibrate at this high frequency because what's going to happen, you see Mars is going to go retrograde, Neptune's retrograde, I mean, Mercury's retrograde, you got all these Saturn squares. So yes, there may be some moments where there are some energies or not even energies, but like people or circumstances that may try to pull you into low energy frequency. Don't let anyone or anything ever take your power, Pisces. Never do that, okay? Never, always feel empowered. 
you've got, you know, you've got a light inside you. Let it shine, right? Everything has a choice. You've got a choice. Choose to radiate all the time, especially when you start feeling these Saturn squares. Now, you see Venus moving into Aquarius. This is absolutely amazing. It's going to be here all month long. I talked about this in your uh, monthly forecast last month. Not going to, you know, it's in your 12th house. All right. So there's very dreamy here. Very, very dreamy. Uh, even like uh, uh, like uh, heightened intuition. Things, you know, spiritual. Like I wouldn't be surprised if you're having a lot of spiritual conversations. Could even be esoteric, be metaphysical, whatever it is for the rest of the month. It's just really, really nice. It's, it's, it's different, right? I actually have Venus in Aquarius in my chart. <laughs> It's it's OK. It's nice relationships, all of that. But it's all, all about a mental stimulation. Now, Mars is going retro. My Mars, Mars retrograde in my chart, too. But I have it in Cancer. And remember, Mars will go retrograde in Cancer next month. But we're doing Leo now. Mars is retrograde in Leo now. Remember, Mars has no energy at this point. So you can just feel a little bit of that um, slow down. Right. So remember, take things slow and steady. Right. It's not there's no race. There's no race. You're going to be fine. Um, and don't, and, and actually, like I said, you can use any of these aspects. Use this. Okay. Use this energy. Redefine your goals. Okay. Don't let this aspect use you. Okay. Remember, this is going to be all month. And that's power trips, power struggles, egos heightened, all of that. With Mar I talk about your last, in your monthly forecast. Now, Saturday, uh, December 7th, this is the big, Okay. You're going to love this. Venus conjuncting Pluto, both in Aquarius. Remember, Pluto's moved into Aquarius. All right. So that just happened. He's just getting started. 19 years. The future. Humanity. Radical energy. This revolutionary empowerment. That's Pluto, right? So you're going to feel this. Venus conjuncting Pluto. There's this intensity to it. When I talk about power, passion as well, right? Deep connections, relationships. That's what this is all about, okay? F like, even craving it, that stimulation. Like, it's so deeply profound. Venus conjunct Pluto, oh my goodness. Things that you value, things that you desire, all, like, just seeking that, you know, even, like, this electric connection with someone. Just, uh, it's, Pluto is transformation. It's so nice. So this conjunction, Aquarius, remember, is their 12th house. You, Pisces, could feel something here where it's just like this. I would not be surprised if you have psychic moments this day. I mean, this is happening in your 12th house. Remember, it's very spiritual up there. You rule. That's your domain, the 12th house. All right. So it's very spiritual. It's very, you know, intuition, really heightened. Pisces, y'all are among the most intuitive signs. Wow. Wow. This is going to be big for you. So watch it play out. Okay. Watch it play out. It's very strong. It's, you know, it's a peak is going to happen on the 7th. You're going to feel it. Creativity is a big thing here. Okay. Big burst of creativity. Uh, healing as well. There's something really big here for you. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you now, Pisces, we do not have this aspect at all next year. Okay. You got to wait until 2026. I'm here for you. All right. Take advantage of this. It's really, really big. Remember, Pluto has that depth. Like, you're going to go really deep. This is... Uh, you're going to feel deeply charged. Now, uh, Neptune will go direct that day. Really great. There you go. Neptune in your sign going direct. It's been retrograde since July. Uh, so everything that you've been thinking about, dreaming about, all the changes that uh, it's kind of like taking your dreams, bringing your reality to them. Now, feeling inspired again, imagination, creativity, all of that really heightened. Again, artists, it's in your it's in your sign. Artists are going to feel just so moved with this conjunction as well so let's get started all right pisces let's see what's going on for you for december 1st to the 8th for pisces sun moon and rising my secret crutch pisces i don't think it's so secret anymore y'all my crutch um, <laughs> Pisces, I do a traditional cult across spread offers the best overview, especially for a weekly reading. If we need a full clarifier as well, you know that we will secondly, Pisces, y'all are amazing. Uh, I, oh my gosh, I, uh, you know, I love y'all. I, I don't really do that. I was like, really wanted to see what was happening with Pisces. And I usually wait until the end, but like. You're obviously really good here. Um, why every? I hope that you don't hear that drilling outside. That's that's. Uh, they've been doing construction here. 
for about a month, two months now. So hopefully you don't hear it. Um, let's get started. I don't. Did I ever tell you that my, you know, my progressed son is in Pisces too? Did I ever tell you that? Anyway, if you know charts, like you, 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 you anyway. Let's. Uh, you're good. You're obviously good. Everything's really good. You are uh, extraordinary. You got. The, you're. You're. You're great. I don't even know. I mean, like, you're going. When I say you're going deep. I mean that. Remember, you got Venus and Pluto in your 12th house. I mean that. You're going really, really deep, all right? But in this moving way, like really, really, like you're going to feel this week, all right? Now, you got the high priestess and the hermit, so really great. High priestess, going within. She's the guardian of the subconscious. So she actually, it's, uh, you know, she only comes out when she's like, you know what? I got to tell Pisces I got them. I got them with, you know, your 12th house so activated, right, this week. Don't be afraid to go deep. There, even if there may be, so, you know, there's so much mystery, right, behind the high priestess as well. Um, it's, it's, there's a, re it's meant for you to explore. Go deep. Don't be afraid. Okay, you got, you got the high priestess protecting you. Very intuitive energy. You're going to feel that energy. Like I said, some of y'all that just may feel very psychic, right? Uh, work with that. You know, intuition. You always want to let your intuition guide you. It seems like it is. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. And the heart of your spread. There you go. Amazing. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. Uh, this month, like I said, in your monthly forecast, all about planning, having a game plan. There you go. Building structure, stability, Saturn in your sign. Like I said, it's going to be different. Even with the sun square Saturn, I just feel like it's going to be like, yeah, sure, you may feel it, but it's in your sign. And I feel like Pisces is going to feel it differently than everyone else. This is building structures for yourself. This is building, like, it's serious about committing to your visions, your goals, your passions, money, right? Even investments. What are you investing in? It, financially it could be career whatever it is it's building that structure and feeling good about it right with this knight of pentacles i love this energy for you there is a sense of longevity here all right so really think about long term all right with finances pentacles are a physical reality as well so just anything in your physical world right the foundations of your life career relationships whatever it is you've got that two of swords here in your challenge area, yeah, there may be someone, well, two things here. One, there may be someone in your life that's part of your journey, right? I wouldn't be surprised because the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo and you're getting these Virgo cards, these two Virgo cards, right? So um, next year, you know that the North Node's moving into your sign, South Node's moving into your opposite sign of Virgo. So very interesting here. There's something about going really deep, okay? Really paying attention to the decisions you have to make and the two of swords here, the first thing I was going to say is that it does feel like um, there is something here where you're coming out of having spent this time really going within, all right? Connecting with your intuition, your emotions, all right? The other thing is there may be someone in your on your journey in your life that is, you know, they're sitting on the fence, but they may be coming out of it or there may be a little bit of maybe we need to have a conversation, right? Nothing, nothing like crazy here, but uh, the reason I say that is because pointing this out, Virgo, your opposite sign, therefore, partnerships, relationships may be a big matter for you, right? Can be career, can be love. Two of Swords attributed to Libra. It's actually Moon and Libra here, so partnerships, relationships may be a thing. Who knows? Just letting you know there may be something here where that's where you're going within, right? Doing that soul searching, thinking about what you want, moving forward. For your future with partnerships with relationships in whatever capacity but it doesn't have to be that it can just be you on your journey moving forward, like building this structure but having this plan and committing to it ace of pentacles i mean when i talk about a new moon and your death house of career that's really nice remember you got the north node and aries in your second house of income salary money anyway like big New beginning. Remember, I said pentacles are a physical reality, so something could be coming into your physical world. If you're not here for money, I mean, it is the biggest pentacle, right? You got the knight of pentacles, too. Really nice. So I feel like a lot of Pisces, it's already begun. There's something, it's like an energy that I'm getting. You may have started something new already. It could have been something big, this new path. That's what the ace of pentacles is. is it opens this new path, right? It's happening during this new moon. 
in Sagittarius in your 10th house of career. But either way, there's a, something new that's happening here. I feel like it's uh, it, it it's you're in it for the long haul. You're in it for the journey and you're moving into your yes era. <laughs> I mean, you just got the sun in your future, the, the sun. I mean, talk about optimism, right? Especially with the sun in Sagittarius currently right now. That's great. That's amazing. Uh, optimism, hope. This is uh, uh, the biggest yes in tarot. This is opportunities, abundance, achievements, all of that. Feeling free, feeling that you can express yourself. Like, you're amazing. This is this is really great. I really hope you don't hear that um, drilling. I am, I mean, Mercury is retrograde. And, you know, that's very Mercury retrograde-y. Um, anyway. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just trying to, you know, justify things. I'm just going to go ahead and do your stuff. All right, Pisces. I'm excited for y'all. Y'all are amazing. Um, all right. So uh, what was I going to say? If you like this reading, it would be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. You know, I appreciate all of that. Um, the, and tell me what's going on. I want to know. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, the other thing I was going to say is that, um, you know, I love y'all. Okay. You know, and yeah, there you go. There's, there's your Pisces tattoo. I'm an Aquarius, by the way, but, uh, you know, I, I got, I got y'all. Um, yeah. Okay. So you're good. There's some changes happening. You clearly like, uh, wow, this is really nice. Okay. So you've got the six of cups, which is very, very nice. So yeah, there is a sense of like, just like letting your hair down now, right? With that sun in your future, like you're building this, right? Like it's, you've done the hard work. There may be some things that you're still feeling like a squeeze around, but feeling this comfort feeling this comfort this joy a, a lot of that right this is so much comfort here this is the biggest house in tarot okay indicating that security right a lot of y'all are seeking that that's what you know i talked about that in your monthly forecast too justice in your external factors area i mean wow wow all right so this is just really big that's uh you know indicating that you know a justice will be served here's like a good but there really is something here with partnerships and relationships you've got justice attributed to libra but you've got this judge here i mean there could be some of y'all moving in this direction maybe even like a contract that's been signed something that's just happening uh that's you know working in your favor justice highly associated with karma Remember, Saturn, the planet of karma, is actually in your sign, right? So um, it's like you are it's just being, you're having your karmic moment. This is really, really amazing. Um, wow. Like, it, it's almost like cashing in your karma points here. You're, you've played by the rules. Everything's working out. You've gone deep. You know what you want. That's amazing, all right? There also could be, you know, with justice in your um, external factors area, there also could be, you know, like literally, you know, some legal matters that are, you know, uh, let me just see. Yeah, there could be some legal matters that's, you know, at play and just keep that in mind. But, you know, this works in your favor with the sun. So it's really great. And this is also like that wisdom like that I've been talking about. You see the columns here, the pillars here, you can see with a high priestess but you see this the hermit's all gray gray and tarot is wisdom i mean just becoming a lot wiser you got that five of swords but where it falls to your spread it's just saying i don't want that i don't want that i don't want to feel defeated i don't want to you know have any conflicts i don't want that i don't want any of that you know this is this is really nice especially up here right a lot of y'all may have felt like this tug of war energy you're moving away from that now lastly you do have the ten of wands so ten of wands came up in your final outcome um there's yeah there's a little bit of a squeeze right you can even see him squeezing the ones and this is a sagittarius card so for a lot of y'all it could have to do again with like um career your reputation something you're really i mean he is breaking his back carry these wands they're heavy right so you could be putting a lot of energy into something but almost for it to end for all this to move forward, right? So it's very interesting here with that Ten of Wands. I'll even clarify that for you. But the big thing with the Ten of Wands is don't overburden yourself, okay? Do not do, especially with Mars retrograde and Leo. Like, I don't want you to, uh, that could be, yeah, just don't, don't like take on too much, right? All right. But 10 is the end of the suit. So. Uh, yeah, you're going to be fine. You're don't like you're going to be good. <laughs> um just just you got your goals. 
you got this. You, you know where you're going. You know where you're going. Okay. Ten of Wands to the Nine of Cups. Everything that you've worked hard for, right? There's that payoff with the Nine of Cups, which is your card. It is a, a Pisces card, by the way. But it's feeling completely satisfied. This is the Witch Come True card, too. Everything that you've been hoping for, you know, which and for, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you, like, how amazing this is. Um, and that's also really nice that you do have Venus and Capricorn still, you know, for the first half of the week, right, in your 11th house of your hopes and wishes and dreams. And then we are going to move into Capricorn season. We have that new moon in Capricorn, all in that, you know, realm for you. But wow. Wow. So just be very proud of yourself for you know working hard don't work too hard please do not exert yourself that uh remember 10 is the end okay so all your efforts paying off with that that nine of cups i mean he's completely satisfied very happy he's very proud of himself uh a wish come true you're got that sun in your future i would have to say this one of your best weekly readings there's you know some signs this week has gotten some like okay really feeling that the saturn square uh you know mars retrograde but See, like, you're going to be on top of it again. It just feels different for you with Saturn being in your sign. For some Pisces, yes, you could feel that, like, mm. but again, remember what I said, all about rising above, right? And it just seems like you're setting yourself up for your future. You've got this amazing future ahead of you. Things are tipping in your uh, favor with that justice card. You know, there's something here that's in your favor karmically as well uh new beginnings like new paths you're good pisces i gotta say this is great this is great I'm very excited for you oh my goodness i'm very excited for you. you got a lot to look forward to uh pisces thanks so much for tuning in uh if you like this reading it would be great if you like subscribe leave comments tell me what's going on and next week i think i'm going to do your monthly i mean i'm going to do your monthly for uh, not monthly mm, where am i uh your annual forecast all right so 2025 i think that i'm gonna post those next week we'll see i'm doing my road trip all right to see my family in atlanta for for thanksgiving i gotta i gotta work on your monthly forecast um so they may not even be at home but anyway uh i'm talking i'm just talking i just don't want to let you go i love i love my pisces all right so pisces thanks so much i'll see you next week bye bye